Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, I've got two Attixes that are both different molds, but made by the same company. What's up with that? I've got the Attix from Wild Discs. Now, these molds are both totally different. From what I understand, the original OG version of this was made by Gateway Discs. And if you look at it, it definitely has a bottom, a really pronounced bottom bead. And then there's almost like a little micro bead next to the bead. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen, but it's definitely very unique. But the newer ones are made by MVP. And if you look, it does not have a bead on it at all. So not even that little micro bead or the big bead, but they're both still in attics. All right, see how these handle a headwind. We got a nice little gusty headwind. I'm guessing the OG should be able to handle it. It's been the stable guy so far. Yep, nice and straight into that headwind. Just a tiny fade at the end, perfect. All right, now this guy, I believe the numbers on the newer one is 5501. So in this headwind, we might get a little bit of a turn to it. Or a lot bit of turn. All right, so not a headwind guy. All right, big shout out to Micah. He's one of the team captains for Wild Discs. He helped me get my hands on these two mid-ranges. I purchased them from him. Really cool to get this OG Addix to try it out with the newer run of the Addix, which is from MVP. And he even threw in this little cub by Wild Discs too. So I might give this one a throw also. All right, we're gonna go one more time into this uh, nice little headwind on a hyzer this time. Man, that does have really good stability and that base plastic feels good. All right, this one, we should be able to get some flip up to it. Oh yeah, flipped up to flat. Holy cow, loving that. All right, I'm definitely getting some mana, maybe even like a Mako 3 vibe from this thing. Although it does have some stability, but yeah, this is great. I'm a big fan of mid ranges that just go where you want them to go. This might be one of those. All right, again, shout out to Micah. He's hooking me up with the information here. So let me get this straight. So the newer Addicts that I'm throwing is called the Lava Flare Addicts, which is very similar to the Cosmic Neutron from MVP. The OG Addicts, this one is called Landslide Blend, which is basically their base plastic and this cub that I told you guys about is actually a hyena and it's in the meteor plastic. So we're gonna do one more round with these mid ranges and then let's go ahead and try out this hyena, which I do believe is a nine five negative two two, which should be kind of fun with this tailwind we got here. Nice and flat. Love it. Flat release with this one. Get a little bit of a turn to it and the finish. Guys, I'm really digging this plastic. I mean, look at all those sparkles on this. All right, so this is the hyena. Let's go ahead and try it. Nine, five, negative two, two. I'm really digging those numbers. Yeah, with that tailwind, oh my goodness. Okay, I only threw that like six feet off the ground the whole way, but wow. Let's go throw that some more. This is very similar to like a Lat 64 Fury or even like a Mint Diamondback, which I'm a really big fan of that disc. All right, throwing in the headwind. It's died down a little bit. Let's try a little hyzer flip. Hyzer flip, glide, and fly. Oh my goodness. So that's such a good flyer. Guys, let's take this to the course. Let's go. All right, just gonna play a handful of holes, maybe like three or four. This one, we're doing the long position, tight wooded shot. Let's see if we can get this hyena to flip up and get through there. <clears throat> yes, come on. All right, it's not too bad. Addicts with a little bit more stability, we should be able to get around this corner and flatten out. Yes, yeah, straighten out. Okay, that shot I just threw, I could not have done it with the newer Addicts. That older Addix definitely has got a lot of good stability to it, which when I put it on the Annie, was able to flatten out and get some good flex to it. 
one. So yeah, that just kind of shows you the difference between the older one and the newer one. Wild disc, I kind of like this older run. Maybe you can bring it back as a different disc. Putt with, we got this nice base plastic sea otter. That's a good birdie. Wild discs, one down. Dead straight tunnel, I've featured this one on my channel quite a bit recently. This is great for a nice flippy disc like this. Let's see if we can pipe it. That flipped up great. I just threw it way too low. So I'm definitely getting some mantra vibes from this hyena. Very great flying disc. Super fun, should be great in the woods. Okay, hyena put us in a spot for a nice little long sea otter step putt. Oh, good run. All right, still one down. This is another classic hole, hole 15 long. Got this nice big corridor. You're trying to go straight and then eventually turn to the right. If you can get something 300 dead straight, you're doing pretty good. See if you can do that with this mid range. Liking the way this flies. It's been turning over a little bit on me, so I'm gonna start it flat on the left side. Flipped up a little bit. If you finish left, that's okay. As long as you're in bounds. All right, found a perfect little corridor. We do have a headwind. I like to do this hyena, just lay it flat. I need to go a little higher with it, have it drift over. A little nervous about this headwind. Give it a shot. Turn, baby, turn. Love that turn. Ooh, got a nice little kick. Exactly 100 out. Kind of torn between doing a sea otter backhand or maybe even trying a sidearm with the OG Attic. Let's try the sidearm OG Attic. Get in. Oh. Hey, Wild Discs. I'm interested in reviewing some of your other discs. If you're watching this, reach out to me. Last hole we're gonna play here is Angry Long 18. All you need is a placement shot. If you can get it to finish a little bit to the left, that should be good. Pretty sure if I just pump it nice and straight, should be able to hook up to a good spot. Here we go, Attics. Perfect, now hook up. Oh my goodness. Seriously, Wild Disc, can you work on making this mold again? I'm digging this. OG Addicts put us in a prime spot. On this hole, you don't really wanna have a flippy disc when you're dealing with a headwind. This is the most stable thing I got, so let's go OG Addicts one more time. Oh, gets a nice flip up. Man, that thing is just a headwind, awesome mid-range. This is a par five, so why not? Let's go OG Addicts one more time. That thing just don't care. Love it, inbounds, par is on the table. Not sure you're gonna be able to see this, but my only option is really to go up and over. Let's go, OG Addicts, one more time. Nice and high, that wind is carrying it. Okay, all right, we got a 30 footer, a little bit of a headwind, so let's go OG Addicts. All right, wild disc, if I make this, you gotta promise me you're gonna bring this back. Oh, all right, Wild Disc, you're off the hook for now. So OG Addicts got me the bogey there. I think I'm even through those five holes, but guys, what fun discs, man. I really like these Addicts. Thanks, Micah, for sending me these. I bought this one from him and he's like, hey, you want this one too? I mean, the mold is almost exactly the same on the top, but that extra like micro bead and bead, I mean, two beads and one disc, super nuts. Gives it some great stability. Wild Disc, I think you should bring that mold back. Call it something different. I love it. But all of these are great discs. Really digging this Hyena too. The winds weren't really in my favor today for that, but these are some great discs. So guys, check Wild Disc out. Pretty cool. Again, thanks Micah. Until next time. Oh, if you guys want to get some Wild Discs, use my code at Disc Golf Fields USA. Peace.